What's up, Fish Tank people? Dustin's Fish Tank is bringing it to you on a Sunday, Mother's Day Sunday. What's up, Fish Tank moms? How are you moms doing? Today is a Mother's Day edition. I'm going to my wife's uh, tank at work, mother of my kids. I'm going to show you guys an update on the no maintenance tank. I have not been in that tank for about 45 days, so I just walk in. I show you. I also actually chill with the fish for a while. Uh, feed them some good stuff and then at about I don't know 12 13 minute mark I talk about old school stuff with my mom taking me to pet shops when I was a kid and I give you about uh, one two three four five tips for you youngsters on getting more out of your parents uh, when it comes to getting fish tanks I got some nice tips I negotiated a lot of good stuff with my folks back today definitely check that out one last announcement too as I show you the pond today is the last day of the buy one get one free on 20 species of plants on my website if you're watching this after 513 it's null and void but uh, you can click the link below and check that out got a pretty good deal on a bunch of sweet plants I got in from Asia a while back so here's an update on the no maintenance tank everybody have a fabulous freaking Mother's Day kiss on your mom hug on your mom or at least give her a call you punks enjoy What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's fish tank spring to you. Gimp arm on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Uh, exciting day for me today, because today is Mother's Day. I am standing outside of my wife's place of employment, the mother of my children. So it's all about mothers today. So uh, I am gonna show you guys an update on the no maintenance tank. I'm giving it to you raw like shimmy shimmy y'all. I don't know what I'm about to walk into uh, down here. It's kind of like parents when you walk in the door and you don't know if your kids have been behaving or not and like what you're gonna walk into. That's kind of where I am with this. Um, yeah, I also have, uh, I know you guys saw I did the American uh, Live Bear Association. Click links around and check out the guppies video that I did. And I've got more coverage of that, but I just figured it'd be right to do a Mother's Day, do a, a Mother's Day style video. So I'm gonna bust in here and uh, show you guys what we got going on it's real easy to walk and open everything so i got the, the tripod i got some food from our friends at rod's foods i'm going to feed these bad boys but uh you never know what you're going to get when you walk in the door i haven't been in here since like i don't know middle of march something so if i open this yeah, there we go all right so we're opening the door up in here and we're busted in anybody home uh oh that one's in there i'm gonna get you on camera real quick you make you hide or not Oh, I got I got company in here, so now I'm talking to my video camera with someone watching me. But uh, yeah, so this is the no maintenance tank, and I have not been in here for quite a while. And the first thing that I like to do when I come in to check out the no maintenance tank is to look at it and enjoy it. So I'm gonna turn the sucker on. I know there's some algae going on. Um, before I actually turn the lights on, though, I'm gonna point out a couple things here. Probably why we got some algae. Uh, full light there. I know for a fact that light never turns off um, and then you can't you know discount the children that might be playing with it or it might get left on I, I'm not here it's a no maintenance tank I don't mess with so I'm gonna come down here notice I turned the timer on the timer is on six um, six I almost said six minutes six hours so it's been off I'm gonna kick it back on and I turn that on that this three dollar timer will save your bacon so got that and now let's take a look at the no maintenance tank here. Oh, I got the comfy chair too, so that's what's up. <sighs> okay. And I'm never in here when uh, patients are in here. I was in the other day and I saw some people. Del, and I'm gonna yell at you while you're working. If I can, sure. if I can get some get some audio action from you, sister. You uh, you yelled at me one time when I was in here. You said, "Where's the fish? When are we getting fish? What do you think of the, What do you think of the fish now?" They're beautiful. They're great big, and they've grown. They were little bitty, uh, little bitty tiny babies long ago. Not long ago, and now they're they're beautiful. Yeah. Very attractive. Patients getting up in there. Yep. Kids love it, and they kind of the fish color kind of goes with the, a decor in the room. Actually. Oh, I tried to tie it all together for you. Uh, Let me tell you. Oh, there's your X-rays. Get it. They, they just oh, they sent them. Oh. There you go. So I'm gonna keep the camera rolling to show you guys this. Because these are my babies in here. And live bear action going on. Obviously a bunch of algae. But it is what it is. I mean, I, don't, I haven't been in here for 60 days, 45 days, something like that. So not bad. Nothing like a, a good little scrubbing can do. So yeah, it's no maintenance tank and I got to do maintenance on it. But whatever. But uh, I don't know. It's looking pretty tough. I do say so myself. It looks pretty good overall. Nothing a 50% water change can't fix. But let's break down what's going on in here, though. We got uh, 
Actually, I don't even want to break it down yet. I want to feed them first. So we're going to feed them first. This is uh, Rod's food. It's got some freshwater food. You guys should totally check out. Um, these fish don't get it fed often, and they are, probably aren't fed often. So I'm going to come in and power feed them and then just do a nice uh, water change on behind. So they're going to get scrubbed. So I'm going to overfeed because they're probably underfed. So here we go. Let's set this right here. And let's give these guys a big old, big old little something, something. Oh, by the way, Rods is uh, doing a, well, that's a lot of food, whoops. He's doing a uh, giveaway at Reef of Palooza, which I happen to be rocking this shirt. I heard the uh, Orlando show was the bomb, New York show, live aquascaping contest, the whole deal, that's going on. So any of you New York, New, it's in New Jersey, I'm calling it New York. It's at the Meadowlands, June 24th, 25th, come check that out. Rods is doing a giveaway. I'm doing an aquascaping contest with Denner Law, so that's going to be tight. But uh, these fish, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am liking the, the, the choice of live bears in here, if I do say so myself. Like, I love the little guy down there pounding it. Look at him. How great is that? And the cool part is, it's like, this is a pediatric clinic, non-profit pediatric clinic, I'm going to add. And so, you know, they have patients come in they get to sit here and chill and, and check it out and they're always like looking for babies and seeing what's going on in the tank versus being on you know their parents screen so now I've debated adding some more uh, oh look at that debated adding some of the different live bears I got at that live bear convention in here to kind of interbreed like get some liar tail action but I like just all the one type of fish I really think I'm just gonna stick with that so, look at them just pigging out. But we probably got what, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, we've got every bit of 15 fish in here. Plus, they'll be breeding again. So, Put a little more food in there. Eat up, boys. Zoom. Plant load is still too light in here. I like the more uh, barren scape with less plants. Oh, look at that big ass of mono shrimp coming out. Look at that dude. Oh, where'd he go? Shoot. But the plant load is still too light. I'd like to have some bigger plants there, but I like the way the scape is. So I'm probably just gonna leave it and deal with a little bit of algae. The baby tears has grown in fairly well. I'd like to see it, uh, I don't have time today to do it, but I'd like to come in and trim it real hard and then uh, replant. But it's doing what I want it to do, which is grow all over the place recklessly. And of course, the babies don't mind it either. And the boost tree seems to be okay. And the water level is actually fairly good. I thought it would be a lot lower than this, having not been in here for a long time so somebody's doing some work on this tank at least filling it up oh there's that amount of shrimp if you can look back through the back there there's he look at that dude ah all right now zen time's over now it's time to scrub this sucker here we go and don't forget at the end i got some mother's day tips for you all and uh, a big special mother's day edition coming and now it's cleaning time here in the no maintenance tank Maintenance in the no maintenance tank. Standard siphon, python. And what I'm gonna try to do is suck out some of this duckweed off the top here. I'll raise it up. See it flowing through there. Slowly. I'll show you guys this trick here. Now you get the duckweed off the top there, or it's part of it. Get it started. And you just gotta keep it. Keep it moving.
And I want to show this. This is the ideal situation. I got the siphon running. Siphon runs all the way down here. I got my big purple tub for junk. And it runs back into here. And then it goes into the toilet, which I got a 50 foot python, so that works well. And then I have this on here. And this was originally a real pain in the butt, but I ended up having to get this put on here. It was kind of hard to negotiate with them. But then now I got this. So all I got to do is screw this back on here and just make sure my temps are right. Now I let it leak when I reattach it so I can like feel the temps and know what it's doing, but that's the key so I can run right back in there. So here's the drain back on out. You can see the lovely setting of this. And now it's just doing the work, getting the algae off. The duckweed out. I'm not trying to get rid of all the duckweed, just thinning it out a little bit. As you can see, this isn't that bad of removal, just peeling the stuff off, like nothing too bad. Just peel off what we got hanging and throw it up on top. Overall, not that much work really needs to go into this tank. One of the things I like about this tank is the simplicity of it. It's baby tears and boost, that's it. And one type of fish, that's all. Like, that's it. I think it works pretty well. Could I get different fish? Sure. Could I get different plants? Sure. But it's, it, it is what it is. It's simple. But it's Sunday. It's species Sunday. This species has nothing to do with fish. Well, Kinda, I don't know, kinda got me into fish. I wanna talk about my mom, folks. That's right, shout outs to Marcia, June, Poe, Peric, Wonderly. She got a lot of names with the remarriage and everything. I wanna give a shout out to my mom and you guys need to be calling your moms today. Mother's Day edition species Sunday. This story starts like most good fish tank stories start at about the age of 14. Your boy D was a hustler back in the day making a whopping 50 bucks a week on a paper route. Do paper routes even exist anymore? Do people still do those? I'm not sure. We had a paper route and uh, every single one of those $50 went spent directly on one of these things right here behind me. And guess who would help me in the mornings fold the papers in the cold, miserable Finley, Ohio mornings? My mom. And guess who didn't get to read her morning paper when I somehow miscounted and over-delivered the papers? My mom got short of the newspaper. And guess who took me to Myers? If you don't know what Myers is, it's like a little better version of Walmart up in Finley, where I bought my first huge tank. My mom, that's right. 14 years old, I gotta say, my mom would go get groceries. I would be completely engrossed, like face to the glass, looking at fish in the pet section of Myers. Look, I don't condone anyone buying fish from Myers, Walmart, Death Co., any of those places. However, this is where I got started. Mom would be getting groceries. I remember so engrossed one time they actually called me over the PA. Can Dustin Waterlick please come to the aisle four? Dustin Waterlick, please come to aisle four. Your mother is waiting. I was that engrossed in it. And I remember 
to the day, to the detail, like I could go to the shop and do it for you, where I was, where I was standing, probably what I was wearing when I got my first big tank that I loaded into my mom's car. It was my mom who early and often fueled the flames of my wonderful fish tank hobby. But my mama fish tank hobby does not stop there. I recall living in BFE, Finley, Ohio, we used to drive to the thriving metropolis of Toledo, Ohio, and go to the Franklin Park Mall. And guess what was walking distance from the Franklin Park Mall? That's right, a Pet Supplies Plus. Peace out, Mom. See you at the food court at around 11. I would walk across the street, one of those busy roads up there, and spend hours in the Pet Supplies Plus. But my mom was cool enough to take me not only to the chain stores, but also to the remote areas. I remember one time, which seemed like about two hours, my mom was with me and uh, was with me while I was negotiating and working out this, what I thought was a mega deal on a Polypterus Senegalis and a uh, rope fish from this shop. I wish I remember the name of it, but those, those fish were totally cool. I think my mom actually spotted me a couple of bucks uh, for that, per for that uh, purchase. And one of my most favorite memories of all with my mother, maybe the mecca moment for my mom and me in fish tanks, I think I was turning 15 or 16, uh, my mom actually helped me purchase a 40 tall, it's a 29 gallon, a little bit taller, 37 if you wanna be a nerd about it. And uh, I had that tank for quite a long time and ended up being one of my first planted tanks. And then on the slide, my mom was cool enough to buy some rocks that I had been oohing and on over while I was eyeballing some angelfish. I remember specifically there was a piece of slate that was about like this big and there was an also like a like pagoda type rock, I don't know, Texas holy rock or something like that. Two completely independently do not match pieces that I remember my mom smuggling off and buying as like a later uh, birthday present for me. But the fish tank obsession rolls on with my mom into the college years down at the Ohio University, not Ohio State, when she helped deliver my 55 gallon with my piranhas into the fraternity house. It was also my mom who lended me her wonderful Pontiac transport minivan, you see the tears getting teared up here, uh, to remove my two fish tanks that uh, previously mentioned, both 29 gallon, which I had cichlids in, and the 40 tall, which I had 40 neon tetras in, which was actually a really awesome tank that I'm pissed I don't ever have any pictures of. She helped me, uh, she lent me her Pontiac Transport minivan. I loaded both those fish tanks up and logged them up to Finley, Ohio. I think my dad had the Pleco uh, from one of those tanks, just recently died. That's right, folks, it's a Mother's Day edition. Now, before you stop watching this video and call the woman that gave birth to you, I wanna give you one, two, three, four, five tips on getting more out of your parents, mother, father, whoever, with your aquarium hobby while this sucker fills up here. Number one, Show that you can take care of it yourself. If your parents are having to do the work, they aren't gonna be inclined to spend any more money or more of their time to get you another tank that you might want. Number two, clean up your mess. That's right, pick up your stuff if you spill water on the floor. It's okay when you spill water on the floor, just clean it up fast and don't use any of your mom's good towels. And if you do use some of her good towels, get that stuff dried out before she gets home. Number three, if you rinse gravel in the bathtub, your mom is going to know. Ask me about the time that I rinsed my black gravel in the bathtub my mom had just scrubbed out. Yeah, mama was real happy about that. Number four, find a way, this is a good one. This should be number one. Number four, find a way to parallel what the hell you want with the aquariums versus what your family, mom, and dad want to do. I'll give you a primo example. I told you about how I used to go shopping with my mom in Toledo. I would run to pet stores. She would go and do her shopping, whatever the hell she was doing. It didn't matter to me. I was checking out fish. Same thing could be said about Chicago, the aquatic experience. It's perfect. It's in Schaumburg, Illinois this year. I've been there every year since it opened. And you can go there. Look, hey, mom, you want to go shopping? There's like an American Girl doll store. If you got a younger sister or whatever, you can say, hey, go shop and drop me off at this sick pet show or whatever. And then number five, and this is a great one that I think a lot of you young kids could miss. If you want something more with your aquarium, you want a bigger tank, you want a new fish, you want a new filter, you want whatever, do some work around the house or hustle on the side and have some money and bring some money to the table when you are negotiating with your parents, okay? Like I said, I was hustling, I had a paper out, I was making money, and when I went to buy something, I remember my parents would be like, well, he's got 15 bucks, it costs 19, like they'd spot you the four bucks or whatever. Or, you know, you have a lot stronger negotiating power with your folks when they see that you've been busting your butt, busting your ass to do something to help yourself, and they can probably spot you a couple bucks and if they can't spot you a couple bucks say mom dad what can I do can I clean up some dog poop in the backyard so I can have some money to go buy some more fish tank stuff so do me a favor folks it's Mother's Day before you call your mom or kiss your wife who's had the kids for you 
I want you to drop me a comment on some of your favorite mom fish tank memories. That's right. Let me know what your mama did for your tanks or didn't do. Heck, maybe she killed some stuff. I don't know. Uh, leave me out a comment on what you think uh, your favorite mom memory with your aquariums are. I know I got to give my mom a lot of love. I hope you love. Love you, mom. Thanks for all your support with the hobby. I didn't cry during this video. Um, yeah, so drop me a comment on that. Uh, do me a favor, if you do like what I'm doing, subscribe. I've got other updates around. You can click the links around here to check out more on this video. Also, hit that little notification button, the little thing that pops up with like the little bell or whatever. You'll get notified. I do the live Tuesdays. Going late night live for you guys every now and then. Everybody have a fabulous freaking weekend. Tank on you and your mama. Later.